Hey everyone, it's Erin. I realized when I went to go edit the video that I filmed on Saturday that I didn't film an intro. So here I am while editing, filming the intro for what I filmed on Saturday. I went out to check cows, check heifers before I went to town to run a quick errand and found that number 30 had had, uh, her water bag was out. It hadn't been a significant amount of time, well it had been over an hour probably since I had checked heifers last. I fully was not expecting to see a water bag out. Uh, I then observed her for close to an hour and just found that she was not making any progress. Uh, water bag didn't break, water bag didn't really come out anymore. I could see one foot, she would stand up. I felt like I was seeing the other foot, but I just really couldn't see two feet and she just would not settle in and she would not push um, enough to really make some progress. And so kind of general rule of thumb that I have is if heifers are stalled out for 30, 45, 60 minutes at that point, uh, it's time to intervene. So I ran and got the calving bucket that I had all my tools in set my gates so I could run her in, called Mackenzie so that she could come and help me film it. I didn't run and get a tripod, didn't go get microphones. It was faster just to have Mackenzie come out. So Mackenzie filmed for me. Uh, she did a great job. She does have a cold when we filmed, so she has some sniffles and you can hear her cough. But I was so proud of her. She did a great job. It was kind of an exhilarating experience to have you know my oldest daughter there with me. She has never seen a calf pulled in real life and she did a great job and I appreciate so much that she came and did that so let's give Mackenzie a big thumbs up for her help uh, but yeah here's the video of me pulling a calf and I hope you guys enjoy and yeah You got feet. You can come closer. It's really cold. Hi, Annie. I will put the chains on if I need to, but let's just see if we can make some progress here. Legs are crossed. Not breach. You can feel its nose. Come on, Mama, could you push? Could you push for me? Baby's pulling back its legs. Come on. There we go. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama. I see baby's tongue. There we go. I'm just applying like steady pressure so that she doesn't quit, keep sucking it up. Okay, come on, Mama. Push. There we go. There we go. Let's make some progress. Come on. 
push, push, push. Come on. There we go. Oh, we're getting there. This is about patience. We work with her. We work with the contractions. There, come on. Up. See its nose. There we go. Good job, Mama. Come on. <coughs> Come on, big push. May have to put the chains on. Good job. Come on. Got the head up. Come on. Come on, Mama. Is she breathing, Ken's? Come on, stand forward. Come on, baby. Good job. 
Gem on. There we go. Almost got that head out. Almost got the head. Yes. 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 Don't get hip blocked on me. Come on. Come on, Mama. You're not done yet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, baby. Baby's alive. We just gotta get baby the rest of the way out. Come on. Come on, Mama. Hip locked. Twist, baby. Uh, Mama, stand up. Come on. Come on. I need you to move. I need you to move a little. I can't get that bar out. breathe for a second. Okay, let's get you out of the chute, okay? Oh, so slippery. Come on. I know, that's not ideal, but you're out. Good job, Mama. Uh, I gotta, I gotta set some gates. seems interested that's a good sign I'm gonna leave her alone uh, that
That is my first successful solo pulling. Did get a little bit hip locked. Got it out. It's a bull. Uh, I carried it, I don't know, 75 pounds. Heavy, slippery. I am a disaster. Holy cow. <laughs> that, that is a mess. <laughs> but I'm so very happy. What an absolute adrenaline rush that is. Whew. Uh, we're going to let mama breathe. I'm going to go take a shower and also breathe a bit. <laughs> All right. Whew, did it. <laughs> Thank you.